This video is going to take a look at setting up WebEx inside of Canvas. To get started, you're going to want to select the course that you want to set up WebEx inside of. If you teach two different courses, you'll need to set up WebEx in both of those courses separately. For our purposes, I'm going to use my sandbox to set up WebEx. If this was your course, the first step you need to take is in the bottom left clicking on the Settings button. Once you've clicked on Settings, you'll need to click on the Navigation panel here at the top. You may default to Course Details, and if you do, simply click on Navigation. Once you've done that, you'll notice there's a piece of text here in the center. It says Drag Items Here to Hide Them from Students. What you'll need to do is find Cisco WebEx below that uh, paragraph of text, click on it, and drag it above that paragraph of text. Once you've done that, scroll to the very bottom and click Save. You, you know you've done this properly when Cisco WebEx is now displayed here at the top and on the left-hand side. To begin setting up Cisco WebEx, let's go ahead and click on Cisco WebEx here on the left-hand side. Once the interface loads, the first step you'll need to do is under Choose Your Features, select Virtual Meetings and Office Hours if you want. Check both boxes and click Apply. You'll notice at the top, Virtual Meetings and Office Hours will appear. The rest of these items here, you don't really need to worry about. However, under Authorize with LMS, if this is not authorized, you'll want to click this button. However, it should say Authorized. Now to set up your meetings and your office hours. If you click on virtual meetings, you can schedule a meeting over here on the right hand side by clicking new meeting. Title the name of your meeting. And you can also set it up to reoccur daily, weekly, or monthly. Selecting the date from this drop down menu will allow you not only to pick the date, but choose the time and AM or PM for when you want the meeting to be held. Clicking Done will save that. And then underneath where it says Duration, you can set up the specific amount of time for your meeting. Clicking Create Meeting will then generate a meeting, and you'll know you've generated a meeting when it shows up under your upcoming meetings list here. You can begin hosting the meeting by clicking on this button. You can edit the meeting settings, as well as delete the meeting right here. You can also view past meetings from this drop-down. Now let's go ahead and set up our office hours. Clicking on office hours here at the top, you'll notice this uh, space right here lets us select the different parts of the day that we'd like to set up our office hours. We can change the amount of time that we're available here in the top left. And we can also set up appointment buffers over here in the right. I'm going to change this to a 30 minute before and after. And you'll notice down here in the office hour times, that time has been reflected. To set up hours that you will be available for students, simply click on the hour that you would like the students to be able to sign up for. Once you have your office hours set up, the example here is I have mine set up from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Monday through Friday. With these selected, here at the bottom, I need to just simply click Save. And these office hours will now be available for my students. I hope this tour of the WebEx interface inside of Canvas was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.